Welcome back to the Tactical Family Channel. Today we're back out on the range and today we brought out our Remington 12 gauge Marine. Uh, we recently installed the TL Racker by Streamlight as you guys can see right here. Um, it does have the built in light on it. So today we're just going to go ahead and test fire it, see how it functions, how it feels and everything like that. And let's also see, I did see one other video where a gentleman was test firing this and he said that um, he was depressing the light uh, while firing. So I'm going to see if I run into that same issue as well. So we went ahead and we took out our Remington 870 Marine 12 gauge this morning uh, to the range and we went ahead and we did some test firing out because we recently installed the Streamlight TL Racker 4N which comes with a built in 800 looms light as you guys can see right there. Um, and basically what we were testing out is the way that it's depressed, it's depressed right up here if you guys can see. Um, basically you push one time and let go and the light, let's see, and the light will stay on. Then you can turn it off by one click or you hold it down and the light will stay on for as long as you're depressing it. And then once you let go, the light goes off. Now, because it's right up there, see if I can show you guys here, get positioned properly. Um, when you're holding the shotgun, um, obviously your hands, obviously your hands about right here, the light's right there. Um, so something that I heard and something I also saw from another gentleman on YouTube is while testing this, um, he did depress the light um, and it stayed on I think for some of the time he was shooting. Um, so that was the only real thing I think he ran into. Um, now I don't know if he ran into any other issues in that, don't quote me on that, but I know that was one issue he ran into. Now I was holding it, I was aware of that, so I was kind of holding it here. I know I even put my finger there a few times just to see if I would accidentally depress it and that did not occur with me. So all together um, it was successful in my eyes. Um, I fired a bird shot, I fired double odd buck and I fired slugs through it just to give that different uh, recoil to see if my uh, thumb moved or anything to that effect. Um, grip wise it felt good. Um, I think my hand moved just maybe a little bit. Now because of the way um, I had the original forehand on it so basically I had the full length of the forehand and because I lose some of it because of the way this is made, I believe my hand slipped a little bit, um, not a whole lot. Um, I think the grip could be a bit better though, um, especially like on a warm day or something if your, your hand or your palm or whatever is sweating. Um, I could see the grip kind of not being the greatest. I think that's something that would be uh, good to be improved on. Um, now what I think I might do too is I might just kind of test the light in the house and see how it really illuminates and everything like that But 800 looms I think it's going to do the job no matter what so that's it for today with our uh, Remington 870 12 gauge shotgun here. Uh, we do have some more things we are going to do to this weapon So look forward to those videos If you guys have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe and you guys have a good day